The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to his disciples, Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world again. I leave, I am leaving the world and am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading introduces Apollos, who is described as a native of Alexandria. He was an eloquent man, well-versed in scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and he spoke with burning enthusiasm and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus. But he knew only the baptism of John. Apollos shows us that knowledge of scripture and of the teaching of Christ and burning enthusiasm are not enough for a person's faith. Apollos had all these but lacked one thing. He only knew the baptism of John. Therefore, he did not know Jesus is Messiah. <coughs> this is why Priscilla and Aquila took him aside to explain the way of God to him more accurately. And Apollos was willing to admit his ignorance, and when he was taught by Priscilla and Aquila, Apollos powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Messiah is Jesus. So what can we learn from Apollos? Many people today acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah. The question is what kind of Messiah is being preached do I preach a Messiah of my own imagination, or is it that Jesus I preach, or is that Jesus I preach the Messiah of God as He reveals Himself in His life, death, and resurrection? How do we know who is preaching the true Messiah of God? We do not want to be deceived by those who have fancy titles to their names, who know scriptures who are burning with enthusiasm, but have no problem twisting the word of God to satisfy their own desires. Apollos admitted his error, but today some refuse to acknowledge their error. They cling to their version of the truth, blessing and encouraging sin, because there is no desire to search for the truth. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 tells us, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. This is why Catholics today should not be content with just sitting in the pews. We must learn our faith and strive for holiness and union with Jesus Christ. So we will not be deceived by those who act in hatred which they disguise as love because their actions lead to death rather than life. Jesus said in the gospel today, I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. Jesus speaks clearly and plainly because his Father 
is the God of order. Jesus said, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. The sign of our true love for God is to love Jesus as he is and believe that he came from God. To believe that Jesus came from God is to believe Jesus is fully human and fully divine. While he did not sin, he was affected by the effects of our sin. That's why he died. The death of Jesus paid for our sins, and this implies that everyone sins and needs redemption. 1 John chapter 1, verse 10 tells us, If we say that we have no sin, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. If we claim we have no sin, that there is no need for repentance, then Jesus did not have to die to save us. Therefore, he did not have to take on flesh, and therefore, he did not become man. This belief, according to 1 John chapter 4, verse 2, is antichrist, meaning it stands against Christ or is an enemy of Christ. The enemies of Christ do not believe that Jesus was sent by God because they preach mercy without repentance, love without sacrifice, life without dying to self. All these are lies and antichrist because the Messiah they present is a false Messiah. They make God into a liar. And this message prevents people from experiencing the power of God through Jesus Christ, who is God's Messiah, who came to forgive sins, to set prisoners free, to lead people from darkness into light, to give sight to the blind, to let the deaf hear, to let the lame walk, to heal people of their wounds, and to bring to life those who are dead. We are not our sins. Neither do our sins define who we are. God does not condemn us, but God is not and will not tolerate sin which is why we need to hate sin and reject sin. God created us in love, and God created us for love. I need to turn back to God, repent of my sin, so that Jesus can fully destroy the works of the enemy in my life. And when we turn to Jesus, the Messiah, we, we encounter truth himself, and truth will set us free. And when the Son of God makes you, sets you free, you shall be free indeed. And when we are free, we become more than conquerors in Christ Jesus because our victorious Messiah completely destroys sin and death in our lives. The Psalm today says, God is King of all the earth. Jesus is king of all the earth, and when he comes, every knee will bend and every tongue will confess to the glory of God the Father that Jesus Christ is Lord. So if you are seeking God, come to Jesus. If you are searching for the truth, come to Jesus. If you are battling against habitual sin, or any disordered attraction, come to Jesus and let him set you free. As we encounter, as we continue in this mask, ask Jesus to reveal himself so you may see his truth. We offer our sufferings in reparation for the sins of those who reject Jesus, the Messiah of God. We pray that God will rise up and destroy the sins that burden us, the attractions that mislead us, and the lies that enslave us. 
we ask God to stretch out his hand to show the power of his name and let all nations know that Jesus is Messiah and Lord now and forever.